If interest rates are the only thing that's keeping you from buying a home in Austin, Texas, then this video is for you. I'm going to break down six simple solutions that have helped a lot of our clients move into a home they love and can't afford in Austin, despite having higher rates. It's definitely a challenge to buy a home in Austin, Texas, because we're the most expensive city compared to all the other major cities in the state. And also the rising interest rates have really kind of dampened people's purchasing power and made it less affordable as far as monthly payments go. So just to give you an idea, every time an interest rate goes up 1%, it lessens your purchasing power by about 10%. So if you could have afforded a home that was a million dollars with a 6% rate and now it is 7%, then that means you can afford a $900,000 home. It goes down 10% as far as like equal monthly payments. So in the last couple of years, we saw interest rates go from about 3% all the way up to seven and a half. You know, it's kind of hovering around seven right now. Um, and so that's the big factor that's hurting a lot of people. Now, here's one thing that will definitely help, and that is negotiating lower prices. So if your interest rate is up, again, that reduces your purchasing power by about 10%. But if you can lower the price of the home significantly, then that can help you get your payments back in line with where they need to be. And just so you know, at the peak of the market, when Austin was the hottest city in America, uh, we had crazy bidding wars, hardly ever any inventory. The peak of the market was in the summer of 2022 and the median home value of Travis County was about 659,000. Right now, we are at a median price of 555,000. So our prices did come down quite a bit and they've been kind of staying steady. We're just kind of seeing normal seasonality where they go up a little in the spring and then they come down a little bit in the fall, but we're not seeing really crazy swings on prices anymore. So just know that prices have already come down. If you're like, I'm gonna wait for prices to drop, they already did that back in 2022. And right now things are kind of staying steady because interest rates are now holding steady. But even though those prices have dropped quite a bit, you can still negotiate a lower and better price. So Austin right now has shifted where we used to have maybe like a week's worth of inventory. That's referring to how many houses are available. We now have over six months of inventory, so we're kind of shifted towards a buyer market. That means that there's lots of homes to pick from and buyers have the upper hand. So even if a home is priced pretty well, if it's not selling right away, you can go in there and negotiate a bit more. On average, homes have been selling about 5% below the list price and some will sell lower than others. We've gotten our clients some, in some cases like 12% off the price of a home. So you may be shocked at what you could afford if you're able to find the right property that is willing to negotiate. Now the second way to offset a higher rate and keep your monthly payments in check is to ask for closing costs or concessions from the seller. And the way that buyers are using this right now is you could use that money to help lower your interest rate. So you could pay a couple of points to a lender and they might buy down your rate. So instead of having it start at 7%, they might do a two, one buy down where the first year your interest rate's only 5%, then the next year it's six, then the next year it's seven. And the idea is that that's going to save you hundreds of dollars each month in the first two years of your loan. And ideally, if rates do come down a little bit, then you can refinance during that time. And most of those two one buy down programs will let you refi at a much discounted rate. So you're not paying all you know, the big fees and closing costs that you would otherwise. Getting seller concessions can also help you reduce the amount of money that you're spending on the closing costs um, at the end of the loan. And instead you could save that money and put a bigger down payment. And so that can also help you save money because you're financing less. So that's the third tip is, could you put a larger down payment down when you're buying the home? The less you finance, the less those higher rates are going to impact you. So for a lot of our clients that are homeowners, 
you know, and maybe they had that awesome two and a half percent rate. Well, if you've owned your home for many years in Austin, your home value has probably gone up drastically. And so when you sell, you're still going to walk out with a big chunk of money and equity, and you can use a lot of that to pay down your next purchase. That's actually what we did. We owned our previous home for about nine years. In that time, our home almost doubled in value and we had done extra payments and things on our loan. So we really didn't owe that much. So we were able to walk out with a significant amount of money and put about 40% down as a down payment on our next space. So even though we upsized, we were not financing as much as we would have if we had not uh, you know, cashed out that equity from our previous sale. So all of that helps um, just to bring your monthly payment in check when you're not financing as much. Now, if you're a first time buyer and you're like, I don't have a house yet, um, some people have been able to get, you know, extra gift funds from family members or someone to help them out so they can put a little bit more down and then also getting some concessions from the seller so that all your money can just go to a down payment and let the seller pay the closing costs. That's another situation that can help you as well. The fourth strategy is to go with new construction homes. I cannot tell you how unbelievable new construction is right now. This is where our clients are just really winning big and at all price points, whether it's a starter home that's in the 300s or a luxury home that's in a million dollar or so range. All of the builders right now have tons of inventory and they are desperately trying to sell off their homes and they have deeper pockets than any normal homeowner has. So a regular homeowner is not just going to say, all right, I'm going to pay all your closing costs, give you all these concessions. Oh, and I'll drop down the price and I'll lower your rate and all these different things. No one could afford to do that. But builders can, especially if they're a big name builder that's selling, you know, thousands of homes all over the place. So our builders are just giving all the bells and whistles. A lot of them are offering low fixed rates. I've seen some as low as like 4.99, some are, you know, 5.99. A lot of them are offering 2-1 buy downs and things like that. And, um, you know, it really makes a difference on monthly payments when you're looking at buying, you know, a, a new home that's brand new with a lower rate versus trying to negotiate, you know, the same kind of deals with a seller on an existing home. You typically get the better deals with the new construction. A lot of them are also covering closing costs. They might be willing to drop the price. Some of them are throwing in appliances, refrigerator, washer, dryer, all of that just means you're saving more money out of pocket. So for our new buyers that are first time buyers, we absolutely recommend trying to go with a new construction home if you can find one in an area that makes sense for you. Of course, we don't want you to live an hour away from where you work, that doesn't make sense. But if you are okay with living out in the suburb area, that's just the best bargain you're gonna get as a first time buyer. Um, instead of trying to pick something and negotiate and then maybe it ends up being a fixer upper or something that you keep putting money into. Right now, new construction deals are the best place, the best bargains that we're seeing right now. Our fifth um, strategy to lower your monthly payment is kind of specific to Texas and that has to do with picking a neighborhood that's in a lower tax rate. So tax rates can be really high in Austin. They can vary anywhere from like one and a half percent to 3% or more in some cases. Usually some new construction neighborhoods have higher tax rates. That's not always the case. Um, I just posted a video recently about some in Dripping Springs that have a 1.68 tax rate, which is really, really low. So that's not always the case, but really look at tax rates and see, okay, how high is it? Because let's say that you're buying a home, it's $500,000 and you're in a tax rate of 3%. That means you could be spending 15,000 a year on taxes. Whereas if you bought that same home in a, in a rate of like, you know, 2%, then it's only 10,000. That's, so that's saving you about 5,000 a year. Now there's extra discounts. I'm keeping the math simple. There's extra discounts you can get if it's your primary residence, you can get a homestead exemption and things that knock your taxes down a little bit more but getting into a lower tax rate can definitely 
stretch your budget where you can afford more home and you're paying a bit less on taxes. Now the final strategy that could work if you're an existing homeowner who is fortunate enough to snag one of those low rates of like two and a half, three percent some of our clients have enough equity that they built out over the years that they're just like, I don't want to sell this. This is so good to have this, you know, loan and this home at such a low rate that they're choosing to just keep that existing home as a rental. And if the numbers work out, they might have enough money coming in as rental income to help them purchase their next home. So it could be that you don't even need to sell the home that you already have. You might be able to use that income move into a home that you love and then use that income to help pay down your monthly payments and make it more affordable for you. So the point of all of this is that it is not impossible to buy an Austin right now. You just need to have the right strategies to help you get into a home that has the right monthly payment that is sustainable, affordable. Um, we always want our clients to buy below their means and not you know, break the bank or stretch themselves too thin. So we've helped a lot of buyers get incredible deals this year. So if you're listening to the news headlines, you're scared about rates, you're scared about affordability, definitely give us a call because we've helped so many clients in different price points and situations to be able to find homes that they love. If you have questions, please drop them in the comment section below and check out our next video. Thank you.